Hi, this is Happy Bird from HappyBirdsCraftingHaven.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful little flower pin. Now you can use this for Mother's Day, weddings, bridal showers, you can give them to female co-workers, um, members of your church or club, and the list goes on. Now this flower is approximately one and a half inches across it was very easy to make and really inexpensive. Um, I used two different colored petals but the same type of flower from the Dollar Tree and on the back I used um, a one inch pen bar and I'll give you more information about that um, towards the uh, end of the video and you'll need some kind of a wood base. Now I just bought a bag of thin heart shaped wood bases um, at Michael's, but you can use a circle or anything you'd like as long as it fits the one inch pin bar. And I put everything together with this little tube of E6000 and as you can see it's very sturdy, nothing's going to fall off. The chain, um, you can use any size chain you want from two and a half millimeters to five millimeters and I'll give you a link to a Chinese seller that I found on eBay and have used for years. She has a feedback rating of 100% positive, which is pretty much unheard of. <laughs> um, the chain is quality and very inexpensive and <clears throat> she ships it for free. The chain, you, um, she sells anywhere from $2.99 to $3.99. Um, for one or two yards. So you can imagine how little you use when the chain is only anywhere from an inch and a half to an inch long, um, <clears throat> roughly. Now, um, the seller does have promotional sales from time to time and <clears throat> she accepts PayPal. The chain takes anywhere from a week to five weeks to arrive. I've ordered from her before sometimes it takes three or four weeks and sometimes I'm blown away and <laughs> like last week and I received it in six days so you just never know um, but it always comes and it's always beautiful so um, I'll give you more information about this um, as we move along Okay, so Dollar Tree had these type of flowers in several different colors. So I chose the light pink. That's what we're going to use. And I chose um, kind of a peachy pink that they had. It was the same style. And so I'm just going to pull a couple of those flowers off right now. Pull that one off. And one of the lighter pink ones, of course. And you can use um, four to five pillow, uh, petals, I <laughs> said pillows, <laughs> four to five petals uh, on each one. And if you've noticed, this is stiff, and you'll see why that's stiff in a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to pull these apart. You can use your pliers if you want, but I'm just using my fingers right now. Spreading them open. And I was at Dollar Tree about a week ago and they have some really pretty flowers this spring. They're starting to bring their spring flowers in. Okay. Now if it curls up like that, don't worry about that. That's no problem. I'll show you why a little later. Now you're going to need some Mod Podge Super Gloss, the one coat gloss finish. This isn't the regular Mod Podge that comes with the orange label. Um, so I'll let you look at that so you'll know what to pick up. They have this at Michael's. Uh, I would use a coupon when you buy it. It'll save you money. Uh, they have this at Walmart and um, I imagine 
some of the other craft stores as well. Okay, so I'm going to grab a toothpick here just to give me a little stability because I'm going to dip my paintbrush in this uh, Mod Podge and I'm just going to paint the petals with it. This, kind of, this toothpick kind of helps me hold it down. Don't be shy using the Mod Podge. Now of course I'm using a paper towel under this but you wouldn't want to let this dry on a paper towel. Um, it would probably be best like on a plastic baggie or something like that where it won't stick once it dries. Okay, so I was pretty generous putting that on. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take Recollections Fine Glitter in um, Glitz. Now does it have to be Recollections? Of course not. You can use any iridescent fine glitter. Use what you have. And I'm just going to gently sprinkle this on. And then I'm going to use oops, the Recollections uh, Fine Glitter in Blush. And I'm just tapping a little bit on this, like so. Okay. Kind of brightens it up a little, too. All right, and um, like I said, I would really not let this dry on a paper towel. But I'm going to set this aside just for a moment. And we're going to do um, the same thing on this one, the peachy colored one. And if you'd like to fast forward this part, you can. These flowers can be used for so many different things. It could be used for Mother's Day, uh, weddings, bridal showers. Um, oh gosh, you can give them to your female co-workers, um, members of your church or club. Possibilities are endless. And I'm going to do the same thing with a fine iridescent glitter and glitz and a little whoa <laughs> a little too much there that's okay it'll still look pretty huh shake a little of it off see and now you have to decide which one you're going to use for the very top now I started with the peachy one for the ba the base and then I added the pink and then the peach one again, and then this one at the very last, the small um, light pink one. So um, I'm just going to continue doing the same process on this one, and then I'll show you what we'll do on the final one, okay? Um, dip this in. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it's curls or anything like that. It'll look pretty. and a little blush okay so now those are going to dry over there and this is our final one that will actually be right here at the top in the center okay now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the Mod Podge on, and it's I'm putting this on fairly thick. I'll show you why in a moment.
Okay. For this part, if you notice on this one, I used a pearl here, an acrylic pearl. It's not a glass pearl because it's lightweight. Everything about this is lightweight. And on the outside here, I used the German glitter glass. I don't know if you can see it very well with this lighting. I noticed the chain looks a little darker through the, um, uh, the part that I'm, I'm looking at right now uh, on the camera, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, what I'm using here is called Diamond Dust, and basically this is German glitter glass. And I showed this to you in one of my last Christmas videos. So I'm going to use this. A little at a time. This will be really pretty when it's done. One thing I opted not to go for in this flower that I used in um, my little prototype flower that I showed you is in my prototype flower I used kind of a silver uh, glitter and I opted not to do that this time because I think it'll turn out much better without that silver glitter. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of the pink blush and I'm going to sprinkle that on it too. Just like that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to set this aside to dry. All right. Now, you want those to dry thoroughly. I mean, absolutely thoroughly. The longer it dries, the harder the flower becomes. So I'm going to check these after a full 24 hours of drying time. This isn't something that can be rushed. And if it looks good, then I'll go ahead and, and put it together. And if I think it needs to dry another day, then I'll go ahead and do that. But um, you want it to be nice and, and completely dry before you start hot gluing the petals together. Okay? All right, so I'm going to allow those to dry, and I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, it has been 24 hours, and everything seems to have... Um, dried and held up very well. There's no glitter that's falling off or anything like that. So um, I'm going to put the petals together. Now the one I'm using for the bottom is the peachy pink iridescent one. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue around here like that in a circle. And I'm going to take the pink one and lay it a little askew so um, each petal is actually between each one of the bottom petals so it looks like a fuller flower and I'm going to put a little hot glue here in a circle then I'm going to take the other kind of peachy pink one and do the same thing like that and then at the very last, I'm going to put the um, petal where we put the uh, diamond glaze on. I'm going to stack that just like that. Pull out all the little stringies that may be there. So we have this so far, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 10 millimeter acrylic pearl right in the middle, and I'm using acrylic so it'll be lightweight and not heavy. You don't want to use a glass pearl. And I'm going to be careful because since this one has holes in it, I want to glue it to where the holes aren't easily seen. So I'm going to put a little dot, the hot glue here in the center, and 
lay this in it just like that press it down like so so we have this so far I don't know if you can see it on camera but it really sparkles so now I'm going to take one of these green leaves off here and <clears throat> so I'm going to pull that off just like so and I'm going to cut this in half right down the middle now I'm going to glue this just like this one with one pointing straight up and the other ones pointing to the left okay So, you can allow that to dry for a moment. Blow on it. Okay. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to place it just like this on the back. So, I'm going to put some hot glue here. And I'm going to hold the flower like this so I can see from the front exactly where I want to put it. So about like here. Okay. Now I'm not going to glue this onto the base yet because we have um, one more step before we actually glue the flower onto the wood base and that is adding the rhinestone chain. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that next. Okay, so I'm going to show you the chain. Now I just received um, another order of chain from the Chinese seller that I buy from. And she sent me this beautiful um, five millimeter chain right here. And it's so pretty it looks like it almost has an AB effect and I, I think it does. Um, I was a little concerned about the chain really not showing its true beauty on this um, camera because when I look into the little screen on the side of the camera the chain appears dark and it's not dark so I'm hoping it's not filming that way. Okay and you can use any size you want actually. I have very tiny chain here. This is an AB chain. This is about, I'm thinking, maybe two millimeter, somewhere around there. And Or you can use a mixture of chains, like I did here on my ugly prototype <laughs> flower. Um, this looks nice using different sizes. But I decided to stick with this chain today, and this is just, um, I think this is about two and a half or three millimeters, somewhere around there. This isn't an AB chain, this is just plain old silver chain. And I have to tell you, I was really impressed. Um, most of the Chinese sellers that I order from, it takes about, oh, anywhere from two weeks to five weeks to receive your merchandise. I ordered this chain, no joke, six days ago and it arrived from China. I couldn't believe the time frame. So, I mean, that's pretty good. I'm not saying that yours is going to arrive that quickly, but I'm just saying that I was very, very surprised. Okay, so <clears throat> what I did was I cut a total of five pieces of chain. Now, you might want to use five, you might want to use three. It, it all depends on your own taste. Um, I cut the one in the middle here, I believe, let's see, nine, yeah, I cut nine links here, and then 
the two on both sides here, I cut eight lengths. And then the two on both sides here, I cut seven lengths. So it goes nine in the middle, eight, and then seven. So as you can tell, I'm just cutting one length, length less um, as I work out um, from the middle. So um, I hope I explained that well enough. Okay, so you're going to need E6000 to put this together and don't uh, email me and ask me if it's okay to use hot glue because I'll tell you no right now. Hot glue will hold this temporarily but if you want something that will hold forever use E6000. And I like the little jewelry size tubes because I feel like I have better control. Now if you want to pick these up with tweezers you can but I'm just using my fingers today and I am gluing two of the rhinestones on the actual heart up here okay and then I will take these two pieces, glue these on the outside. I'm going to glue two rhinestones up here as well. Make sure they're even. Okay. Now if you wanted to, you could leave it just like this and it would be fine. But I like bling. <laughs> So I'm going to put a little more E6000 right here at the side. I'm not worried about too much about how it's going to actually look while I'm putting this on the heart, the E6000, because all that will be covered anyway with a flower. So I'm going to glue one length there. Yeah, I'm just going to glue one length right here with the chain at the very last. Okay. I'm not touching the E6000. I'm just moving it around the chain in the E6000. If you want, you can take a toothpick to kind of help you. This looks solid enough. So <clears throat> now I'm going to take some a little bit of E6000, put it on the flower here. Well, actually, I think I'm going to put it here on the base. I think that would work better. Okay. And set this down just like so. Okay, now I'm going to allow that to dry in a well-ventilated area for 24 full hours, okay? And then after that dries for 24 hours, I'll be back and um, we'll look at the results. <laughs> so, hold on. I'll be back. Oops, okay guys, I almost forgot to show you how to cut the chain. I didn't do that on camera. So, let me show you how to do that now. Um, I'm going to use this piece of larger chain so you can see. All I do is, um, once I count the rhinestones, I just bend it like this, or let it fall open, I should say. And you can see in between. And I just take my jewelry making nipper tool and just with the tips of the nipper tool I cut it like that very easily. And like I said, I'm just using the tips. Um, if you don't have that, you can also use the crummiest pair of scissors that you can find 
and do the same thing. Let it fall open like that and cut. Okay, it works too. Just make sure they're your crummiest pair of scissors. Um, if you don't have a crummy pair of scissors available or a jewelry making nipper tool, you can take some cheap wire cutters. These are from the Dollar Tree. Do the same thing, allow it to fall open using just the tip. You can cut it apart. Now, I would suggest using the cheap wire cutters as a last resort. Um, the first two probably work much better. So, anyway, so now you know. <laughs> okay, now I'll come back and I'll show you the final result of our flower. Okay, so it has been 24 hours and everything is completely dried. Um, I think it turned out really nice and it's very well put together. Nothing's going to come off. And um, I'll show you here. Okay. And I did put a pin bar on the back. You can purchase the one inch pin bars from Michaels. It's the bead landing brand. And there's 60 in a package. I believe this was either $3.99 or $4.99. I can't remember which. But they're one inch across. And um, you can buy this at Michaels as well. Not the bead landing brand, but um, the pin bars. So uh, just before you glue it on with the E6000, just make sure that it works properly. Like that. And um, that's about it. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. And I appreciate each and every one of you watching. If you have a chance, please stop by my Facebook page at Happy Birds Crafting Haven Inspirations. And uh, we have a lovely little group with a lot of really nice ladies, so be sure and stop by. And thank you so much for watching again, and God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.